The new science says no, it wasn't the genes, it was the way we learned how to live our lives and that's where the parents come in because a child learns how to uh, handle life, how to live life by observing the parents' behavior and then becoming just like the parents. And when we do that, when we take our parents' behavior, we get our parents' diseases. So the exciting part about the new science says, before we blame the cells, we must first look at our thoughts and our beliefs and our behaviors because these are more important in creating health and disease than are the genes. And this means personal responsibility. And a lot of people get very upset when I say that because it says, yes, you are creating this life. And then they get sometimes upset because they say, uh, they review their life and they said, I, I was responsible for this illness or this problem and all that. And, and they feel very uh, uncomfortable and they don't want to be responsible. And, and then they get mad at me when I say that. But then I say, no, no, no. The words guilt, shame, victim, blame, these words which make people feel very bad do not apply to the science for a simple reason. If I never told you how it works, I never showed you how life works correctly, and I just teach you incorrectly, then what happens to your life isn't, you, you didn't do that, that wasn't your intention, that, you just didn't know how to operate the, the biology. So if you don't know how to operate it and something goes wrong and it doesn't work right, I can't blame you and say that was your fault. The only time I can do that is once you know how it works, then you become responsible to make sure you do it right. So the past is history. The past, whatever happened, we have no responsibility for because no one told us. The future is when we have responsibility. But that's when it gets very exciting because when people do know how to make it work, then disease will disappear, war will disappear, health, harmony, a garden will come back to this planet. So that's why this new science is so important because it gives us back a power. We're not victims of our lives, we are masters because we can change our thoughts and we can change our behavior and we can change our beliefs. And when we change them, we change our biology. So. We are the masters of our lives, not the victims of our genes. I started to laugh because I said, people think when we die, we go someplace to heaven. And I realized the first time in my life, this is heaven. This is where you get to create. This is where you get to have all the wonderful experiences of life. When you leave here, you leave with the memory, but not the ability to create and not the ability to sense. And so uh, the greatest joy came to me because I said, well, if this is heaven, then I'm going to stop living in hell and turn it into what I want. And for me, I, I've created from that change of my belief a life, the former life is gone. The current life, a life of joy, health, happiness, and beauty, because I know I am creating it. And this is why we are here. So I hope everyone can get that, because if everyone creates heaven on earth, then by definition, the whole earth turns into what we call heaven.